Hey, I'm Joel Trombley, and I'm building the most practical daily overlanding Tacoma. And in this video, we're gonna be talking off-grid electrical systems. I've got portable solar panels, 12 volt fridge, switches, fuses, wires, outlets, battery monitor, all this jazz is all going inside the cap of my 2023 Toyota Tacoma Overland build. To get you up to speed, you would have seen in previous video, I've already installed and I've had this working for a while now, my DC-DC charger. That allows the truck to charge the battery when the truck is driving. In order to charge the battery when the truck is not driving, I got an MPPT solar smart charge controller, which this will be hooked up to the portable solar panels. When I am at camp, I can lay them out, it's sunny, and then I kind of covered all the bases of keeping this battery right here, which is under that shelf, nice and topped up and charged. And I need to keep the battery up and charged because I'm gonna be running a few appliances and other electronics while I'm out camping or having on the truck. Obviously I have the fridge here. This is the Isoco Fridge 45 VL45 Pro series. It has the door that opens on both sides. And then I have the all power 200 watt solar panel here. I'm really interested in getting this all set up and actually getting out to use it. So this area here on the truck cap is gonna basically be the control center where all the wiring is and all the electronics to run all this stuff. So this is just a start, but this is some of the hardware that I'm gonna be using to basically create this electrical system on board my truck. First thing here I have is a Blue Sea Systems ST Blade battery terminal mount kit. And so what that allows me to do is wire different devices or different circuits and protect them with fuses directly to the battery. So that'll be on top of the positive terminal and the negative terminal. So for example, you know, the DC-DC charger is gonna go here. The MPPT solar charger might go on here. Might have the fridge on one and something else. To connect all that together and have it by switches, I have this four gang switch panel that has little rocker switches, which are nice, but then also has a voltage reader and a 12 volt USB plug outlet. In the same sense for the refrigerator, they typically have a 12 volt cigarette lighter outlet. And so I picked this one up, which is just a dedicated 12 volt DC socket. And because the fridge is gonna be living on this side of the truck, the way battery and stuff are gonna be, I'm thinking about mounting this outlet somewhere in the neighborhood here along the truck. And in that way, I have a dedicated circuit and outlet for just the fridge. So this four gang switch panel, I'm gonna be mounting right about here. And all the wiring is gonna be all tucked away in behind this panel here and up high. So there's no chance of it getting wet. It's all covered, kind of out of sight, out of mind. So as you can imagine, there's a couple different ways you can connect a portable solar panel to a battery. Um, because I am building a more or less dedicated system, I'm not really interested in like the alligator clips or all these other redundant wires that they give. Uh, what I am interested in though, this is the XT60 port here. And then those are the MC4 connectors that get connected to the solar panel. This piece will be connected to the solar panel and get plugged into the truck. In order to plug it into the truck, this is what I bought off Amazon here and I'll leave a link in the description. It's just an XT60. This is like the female adapter here and then it's acting as a socket and then they just provide the other end here. I'm just gonna cut that off. The end that I cut off will be connected to the solar charge controller and then this is just a dedicated port that is wired to that solar charge controller because that port will be there permanently. When I get up to camp, I just pull the solar panel, plug this side in, and plug this side to the solar panel. Make sense? I need to drill a hole right about here for the input and output wires to go down, obviously. So, 
sometimes it's handy not to throw some things away. So this is just some old wire insulation. As you can see here, I already took a slit right down the middle of all this. And what I'm gonna do is just cut a little piece so that I can wedge it and just keep it as like a little trim piece to protect the wires from this sharp metal here. And that's exactly what I did on this side here and it worked really good. Perfect. Those are nice and in there solid now. Now for the dedicated fridge outlet, Blue Sea Systems 12 volt outlet socket, right? Just like a cigarette lighter. And then I got this aluminum angle. And my plan is to basically chop off a little piece and I make a little bracket and this will get mounted somewhere near the front of the box here on the passenger side of the, of the truck. Battery died, are you kidding me? Oh, come on. Got my little mounting bracket with some screws. That's nice and secure. And then I just gotta find a way to get this mounted inside the truck. Finally got the dedicated outlet for the fridge mounted. And basically this is like a no drill option. Bed on the Tacoma has these uh, T bolts along the bed and I just removed one and then I used it to attach a bracket. That'll be for the fridge obviously now. And I can just route the wiring nice and tidy up underneath the cap like so. Okay, I have everything wired up now. I know it looks a little hectic and crazy, but it is a very simple system. And once I clean up all the cables and do my cable management and put the battery up underneath the shelf where it belongs, what the system is, is that it's four circuits. And this is just like a fuse blade holder where I can put my loads, right? And then protect them individually. It kind of acts like a bus bar with a fuse blade all in one. So let's take a look at everything in real time and I'll explain how all this system is working together. Start with the DC-DC charger. That allows the truck to charge the house battery while the truck is running. It is a smart charger, so it will prioritize the car battery first, make sure that's not drawing power and making that battery go dead. That is all viewed live, real time, through the Victron Energy app on my phone. In the same sense, when you hook up the solar charge controller to the solar panel, and I just have it set up on the roof of the truck temporarily now, and I'm getting about 109 watts of charge, which is pretty impressive that I don't really have it set up in an efficient manner. Once that's hooked up, it is charging the battery when the truck isn't driving kind of stationary and parked, and especially on a nice sunny day like today, it is good to get that extra couple of watts of energy. The panel hooked up just with this outlet plug here. As you can see, I have the wire going up, up and over. And then that's where I have the panel just laying on the roof there. Good, that's the all powers 200 watt mobile solar panel foldable unit. And this is the first time I'm kind of hooking it up and I'm pretty impressed, I'm not gonna lie. To the left here, I have the battery capacity monitor and this is also has a voltage reader. And this just allows me to see what percentage of batteries that I have, what you've seen installed in the previous video, some house lighting, and that's just all run off of this switch remote here. I just got some lights and that's really nice at night, just some atmospheric lights for the truck. Four gang switch panel. I have this one up here, which is turned on and that's running the fridge currently right now as we speak. This is the Isoco VL45 Pro. The door is reversible opening on either side, which I really like that feature. It has a really nice display here that you can adjust the cooling temperatures. You can run it either on max or eco. And then there's a little battery monitor as well. Nice little control panel. Then there's also some outlets here. So I got a DC outlet, an AC outlet, and I've got two USB slots here, so that's kind of handy. And it's all protected with this rubber kind of cap. Temporarily, I just have the fridge kind of held in with a strap. Eventually, I will build a base for it and everything like that. Uh, right now, it's just kind of a test fit. Empty and open right now because I don't have everything built. That'll be a separate video when I configure the back of the truck for camping with some slides and things like that. I do have the fridge kind of set up in a uncommon area. The reason why I want it over the wheels is just having that weight over the axle instead of behind the truck here, behind the axle. That's a lot of additional weight just in kind of a bad spot. So thinking about weight distribution, having the truck cap with the side doors allows me full access, no problem, to the fridge from the side here. This fridge 
is running off of a dedicated outlet that I installed right here. I can also run a diesel heater or any other accessories off this outlet. So Isoco did reach out to me, wanted me to try out their fridge. They also gave me a discount link that I can give to you. So make sure to check out the link in the description. I'm not gonna say too much about the fridge because I haven't had a chance to actually fully use it. But my first impressions, it is a very nice quality fridge. It's super quiet. I don't even hear the compressor running at all. I will say that that has been kind of an issue on my other fridges I've owned. I just, you can hear the compressor kick on and it sounds really bad. The energy draw is very little and it doesn't take very long to get down to temperature. And likewise, All Powers also sent me the solar panel along with their power pack to try out. There will be a link in the description again for that system. I'm not doing a full dedicated review on that because I just, got the product and uh, I'm just testing it out for now. So on first impressions, I'm really happy with the solar panel. It's uh, definitely putting some good output and I like that they provided a bunch of different connectors, full flexibility on how to set up your solar panel. So again, make sure to check out the links down below. There'll be some discount links and things like that. It is an affiliate link, so I will receive a commission at no extra cost to you. But again, it's kind of just early startings with those new products. I'm really excited to be working with these new companies and that they're supporting the truck build. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned and on to the next one.